So the primary endpoint of the uh, close to cure study was atrial tachyarrhythmia burden. Because atrial tachyarrhythmia burden is related to symptoms related to atrial fibrillation. It's related to heart failure and stroke. So as an endpoint, it is probably more relevant to the patients compared to the normal freedom of 30 seconds uh, atrial tachyarrhythmia episodes. So that's why we did choose uh, atrial tachyarrhythmia burden as the endpoint. Uh, the definition, it is the percentage of time spent in atrial tachyarrhythmia during a monitoring period, be it before ablation or after ablation. And the way to measure it um, most accurately is using an insertable cardiac monitor. And because this is a patient-controlled study, each patient received implantation of a cardiac monitor two months before ablation, with a follow-up at this point in time up to one year after ablation. So regarding the primary endpoint, we observed overall a major market reduction in atrial tachyarrhythmia burden. At baseline, median burden was 2.68%, which is a quite normal atrial tachyarrhythmia burden for a paroxysmal AF population. And after ablation, being 1.1 close PVI procedure per patient, the atrial tachyarrhythmia burden was 0%. And it's not only the median, it's also the P25 and the P75. So you get a an, an reduction in atrial tachyarrhythmia burden of more than 90% in approximately 90% of the patients. And the interesting part is that this is not only true for patients that are completely free of atrial tachyarrhythmia after ablation, but also in those patients that have some atrial tachyarrhythmia burden after ablation. So it means for the overall population that we are close to a cure of uh, atrial fibrillation in, in this specific uh, patient population. In the close to cure study, we opted to perform catheter-based pulmonary vein isolation using the closed protocol, meaning a contact force guided approach aiming for contiguous, stable, and optimized RF applications. This protocol in the past has been shown to be safe and effective when analyzed with intermittent halter ECGs. What we also showed in the past that it is associated with threefold more durable isolation on the long term. So basically the close to cure study confirms that if any strategy aims for durable pulmonary vein isolation, that this will result in a major reduction in atrial tachyarrhythmia burden and the burden related endpoints in atrial fibrillation.